what I have here is a big porterhouse steak cut in half by the meat shop. I seasoned it with just salt and pepper and a little food enhancer. And I let it cook on one side to see it's brown here. Okay, so then I put green peppers, onions, and then I have these mushrooms. I'm gonna just throw those over in there. Oh, before I put the, yeah, I'm gonna put the mushrooms there. Cause it'll cook it. Everything will be smothered down on the steak. And then I have these butter dollars that I bought from my grocery store. It has uh, just a dollop of butter, garlic, and herbs. And so I'm going to lay one in there. And tonight's menu is this steak here, baked potatoes, a salad, and then I got shrimp on the side that look like this. This is gonna go in a skillet by itself with those, one of those butter dollars. <laughs> Okay, so this butter has started to melt. I'm going to give it a little help here. I want to get on the steak and on the vegetables. Oh, this is going to be good. I need to cover this up. But since you guys are watching, I'm going to go ahead and uh, cover it up. And then I'm going to put it on pause and I'm going to come back with the shrimp. Okay, guys. I have some shrimp going on in this pan. I have a teaspoon of canola oil. Um, these shrimps are washed and seasoned and de-banged and de-shelled. And I'll put them in there. And then as soon as I have you spread it out, can you come and hold this for me? Yeah, easy. Right here. Stay right in the pan. Then hold it up a little bit. I ain't trying to hear that. Oh my god. We have these uh, queens. And then what's going to happen here is they're going to. Mmm. Look at that. That's a big pop of steak right there. Oh yeah. And so, one of these butter dollops. Uh, 25 cents per dollar, so I don't use real butter. But on these shrimp, yes, I need real butter. I'm gonna have you got my so I got two of them left. There's one. And you can make these with real butter. It's not, I didn't have to buy them, but I, I did anyway because I don't have real butter on hand. And yet, it doesn't take long for shrimp to cook. You know, when these turn pink, they're done. So I'm going to try to get that butter around the skillet. Look at them. Oh, they're going to be so good. Look at that. That is good. Good eating tonight. The shrimp was on sale at my local grocery store. Yum. Okay, so I'm gonna be adding. Oh, one of the two fell off. That's okay. okay. Yeah, he didn't get his cut in half, so he's gonna have that whole thing. And it's gonna be looking, well, it look like it's gonna be good. Ooh. Yeah, I need to get my, I need that special in real quick. Oh. Okay. 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 Is there any lemon in there? Okay. So my shrimp, and we like our shrimp well done, you guys. You wouldn't cook yours that hard. Um, I just leave mine with a little color to it, and I like it when I bite into it at uh, a little bit well done temperature. See that look that crust? That's just flavor. 
So that comes from putting that butter in there. And then I'm going to just turn it off now because you don't want to let it get too dark. Okay, so what that's going to do is it's, that's just going to sit in that flavor. And then when you get ready to serve your steak up, you're going to set some of those on the side. Okay, and I'll be right back to show you the plate when it's done. Yeah.